Revelation 2347. From the 25th of May 1942. Will for spiritual activity. Power supply. Every preparation for spiritual activity expresses the will to serve God, and God blesses this will so that it can be put into action, for the human being needs strength in order to carry out his will, which now comes to him from God according to his zeal for service. Spiritual work is so extremely necessary because the spiritual development of countless people depends on it, for spiritual activity is receiving and passing on the truth from God. Spiritual work is also carried out by the person who thinks a lot about spiritual things and shares his thoughts with his fellow human beings. As well as he himself has the right attitude towards God, that is, Anyone who in faith in God reflects on his nature, his activity and his works of creation, to which he himself belongs, will also be guided by God himself, and every exchange of thoughts with equally faithful people will result in spiritual success in so far as questions are repeatedly asked or voiced which are mentally answered by the beings of light and thus the truth will also find its way into people who are spiritually active. Conscious enlightenment work results in a great blessing, that is, if a person is willing to work on earth in an enlightening way and shapes himself into a bearer of truth then he will always be active for the benefit of his fellow human beings, and God blesses such a will to work by supplying extraordinary strength. Thus he will never lack strength where it is needed. The person will always turn towards the light, that is be truth seeking who has the will to do what is right before God. For this will alone causes him to receive the strength to recognize which path he has to take. And this recognition soon spurs him into action. It drives him to communicate to his neighbor what he has recognized, and thus spiritual work begins. God lets himself be found by everyone who seeks him. He gives an answer to every serious questioner. He gives strength to the weak and perseverance to the striving. Only the will has to be given by the human being himself. But God also strengthens this will if he turns to him. And the very intention to place his activity at the service of the Lord testifies to God's will turned towards him and results in the human being's ability to carry it out, for he will always be able to accomplish whatever he wants if it is helpful for the salvation of his fellow human beings. Nothing is impracticable if the strength from God flows to the human being, and the strength from God will always be at the human being's disposal who expresses his will to God to be active for him. But the activity for him consists of bringing souls to him, thus God will always give his blessing to this ministry that is distribute his strength and his grace. For the spiritual hardship on earth is great, and wherever a person wants to control this spiritual hardship, wherever he wants to helpfully assist his fellow human beings' souls, he can always be certain of God's supply of strength, so that he can carry out every spiritual activity for the benefit of his fellow human beings. Amen.